The story of Kagurabachi. You'll want to follow along. Don't go anywhere. Tenon. Kagurabachi tells the story of Chiriro seeking to avenge his father's death and reclaim the enchanted blades forged by him. Chiriro always lived with his father, Kunishige Rokurira, learning the craft of katana forging every day. They had a very close relationship of respect and love. Kunishige was playful and a bit clumsy when it came to Chiriro, but he always showed love to his son. One day, he even gave Chiriro the gift every teenager dreams of, three goldfish. Well, not quite. Chiriro was responsible for cooking every day. They lived in a workshop away from the population and were frequently visited by Kunishige's friend, Shiba. Shiba always told Chiriro stories of how his father was considered a war hero, even more so than the samurais themselves. The swords forged by Kunishige were able to change the course of the last Senti War, ending the apocalyptic scenario. Kunishige explained to Chiriro the responsibility of blacksmith holds over lives. After all, he forges weapons that will take lives, and these weapons must be wielded for justice, as in the wrong hands they can take the lives of innocent people. There is a time skip of 38 months, 3 years and 2 months, in the manga. The story changes completely. The peaceful and calm beginning scene gives way to a scene of resentment, hatred, and revenge. We are introduced to a Chiriro who witnessed his father's death and vowed to avenge him. Kunishige had forged six enchanted blades that changed the course of the last war. They were swords imbued with magical powers and were kept in the basement of his workshop, which was protected by a magical barrier created by Shiba. The group behind the theft of the enchanted blades is called Rishaku. A group of black wizards who act in conjunction with the Yakuza, they are identified by tattoos of black flames on their bodies. A seventh sword had been forged before Kunishige's death. It is related to the three goldfish he had given to Chiriro. This seventh sword was not stolen, and it is carried by Chiriro. He had ceased to be an apprentice katana forger and had become a swordsman. Chiriro unleashes the powers of the sword through the magic words, Enten, Kuro, and Nishiki. At the beginning of this journey in search of revenge and the enchanted blades, Chiriro relies on the help of his father's wizard friend, Shiva, who seeks information about the group of black wizards and the enchanted blades through a friend named Reneo. Reneo owns Café Raro Raro, a place where members of high society hire wizards for protection. She mentions that Japan has more than 1,000 wizards, making it the place where they gather the most in the world, so her café is a meeting point. The fame of her café attracted a mysterious child with information about one of the enchanted blades, Char. Initially, Shiba and Chiriro don't believe that Char could have any real information, as she seemed to be a street child lying to get attention and food. However, when taken by Chiriro for a meal, she talks about a blade that could summon clouds, and Chiriro has no doubt that it was the Cloud Piercer, the enchanted blade Kirigumo. Char is hunted by a legion of wizards, initially refusing to disclose the reason. However, as the bonds between her and Chiriro strengthen, and he decides to protect her, he learns about Char's sad past through other hunters. She is from the Kainagi clan, a clan with incredible physical regeneration and healing abilities. She hadn't told Chiriro anything yet, out of fear of being hurt to have her abilities taken away. It is known that her mother died in front of Char while trying to protect her, most likely a victim of a wizard who was after these abilities. Chiriro's journey and that of his friends have only just begun and seem to hold countless emotions for us. Come with us. Let's embark on this journey together in Kagurabachi. Tenoi.